Over the course of my life, I've come to realize that the arts and children's development are very, well, very much connected, and that's why the Arts Council is so important to the County of Westchester, and that's why for over 20 years we've supported the Arts Council, okay, and especially it its leadership, Janet Langsam. Do it again. Arts Westchester. Arts Westchester. Do it again. Over the course of my life... You sound too damn not animated enough. So, come on. Okay. Over the course of All right. my life. All right. Over the course of my life, I've come to realize that the development of children and arts are very connected. Arts Westchester is a vital piece of that connection, and over these 20 years, we've tried to support it in programs in Mount Vernon and Yonkers under the leadership of Janet Langsam. Perfect. Next. More animated? A little more animated. Yeah. Tell me about at-risk kids and why, how you feel about them. We try to support, no, we support after-school programs in low-income areas because these children don't have a chance of getting out of their environment unless they are enriched by the arts in school. What, what does it mean, a, pin, a painting class to a kid who never went to a museum or a um, after school programs helps expose children to a world that they would not normally find out about because most school programs have been cut back as budgets get tougher and tougher. Talk about one kid that you know who was affected. As I've had the opportunity to meet children in school and speak with them, I found that some of these children develop real dreams of becoming artists and sculptors and painters and with the skills they develop in these programs they're more equipped to do just that. What about if they're not going to be artists or? Um, children who don't know what their future holds in store for them um, are influenced by after-school programs. There's discipline, there's color, there's interrelationship with high school students who come to train them and by their instructors who are come to keep an eye on the high school children training the after-school programs of elementary school children. Okay, in your, in your experience, have you observed that kids who have been exposed to the arts are more creative in their in their um, future lives. Are more uh, entrepreneurial. Entrepreneurial. Okay. More directed. More innovative. Some of the children who participate in after-school programs we have found become more um, animated, more aware of skills and disciplines beyond what they would learn in school. So it's a very positive learning experience. Let's do this, take this over and start out with kids who are exposed to the arts. Children who are exposed to the arts have a leg up on all the others because it's a, it's a three-dimensional experience, a little different than schooling, which allows them to relate to things outside of school. Children, I want you to say kids. All right. Um, just a second. Kids who are exposed to the arts. Um, kids who are exposed to the arts, especially those in depressed areas, are given the opportunity to learn what they would not learn otherwise. And they eventually evolve as stronger individuals in our society because of their awareness of the arts. So is there a connection between the arts and society? <clears throat> I believe there's a significant connection between kids at risk, kids who go to after-school programs, and the positive contribution they make to our society when they get older. Okay. Um, is there a positive connection between the arts and being prepared for society. Talk about the entrepreneur okay. business. <clears throat> These artistic skills that the children learn 
helps them progress much further than they orm normally would in education beyond elementary school and junior high school. In fact, it even adds a certain element of entrepreneurial risk taking because they're stepping beyond their normal bounds of understanding and exposure. Okay, let's try a quick sound bite that sounds like um, kids learn to be entrepreneurs from the arts. I'm not sure about that. Let's see. Oh. Um, kids, I'm not sure well, about entrepreneurs it. from the arts, it isn't exactly the relationship, Janet. It, okay. They've been to be more exploratory, more open minded to new concepts. Okay. Kids okay. are more exploratory, more okay. open to blah, blah, blah when they've been exposed to the arts. When children have been exposed to the arts, they tend to be more exploratory. In fact, more entrepreneurial in, in evolving to, to over, to... Okay, take your time. Okay. And these kids don't use children. The children, ki children are old. Children are what you grew up, what your kids. Kids I, are kids now. I was a juvenile delinquent in a yes, whole gang right. outfit in the... In, I was the only one, okay. Um, where were we, kids, the arts, entrepreneurial, schooling. After school. Evolving. After, after school programs. No, kids and the arts, don't give me after school programs. Kids and the arts lead to entrepreneurship and exp explore, exploration of unknown entities. Do that again. Not, not good. Kids and the arts. Kids in the arts combine to create a more dynamic environment for a, a kid's opportunities to grow entrepreneurially and in the disciplines that they are given. Not good. Okay, do it again simple. Simplify it. Okay. Soundbite. Kids in the arts are a very positive connection for their future. And we've watched how entrepreneurial skills develop even through the arts because there's more discipline, more exposure, and expanding horizons. Perfect. perfect. Nothing I do is perfect, now, it, it's okay. Talk, talk about yourself, and you seem to have a thing about theater. So do you want me to talk about East Coast Arts and the Rye Arts oh, Center? I want you to talk about theater. And okay. What it means to you. Why theater? I mean, you played the ukulele, right? Trumpet, but that's the different. Played the trumpet, so how Luca did you Lele, get from, you come from on that? to the to the to the stage? Talk about your, how your grandmother took you, and and that's how you develop. But if, if these kids don't have people to take them, then that's what that's a good one. But that's that's not theater. It's okay. Okay. We'll take um, when I was eight year old, my grandmother took me to different museums: the Guggenheim, the Met, the Frick. And all of a sudden, I was exposed to, to, to skills and productions and uh, artwork that I had never seen before. It had a definite impact on my future involvement with the arts. Theater is an excellent opportunity for children to act, to participate in a social group, and to develop their own personal, interpersonal relationships. I, trip, uh, I tripped over that, too. You started a, you started a theater, right? Yeah. Why? Okay. And should I say when? I don't care. Okay. Just, why just start a theater? <clears throat> Many years ago, no, 31 years ago, we started a theater in New Rochelle to promote new works by young artistic um, writers. Um, Many years ago, we started a theater in New Rochelle to develop the skills of young writers. And uh, through the course of the six years that that theater existed, many new works were produced. Adults and children came to enjoy the arts in its expressive, um, artistic way. What does theater mean to you? I can, I've been the last three nights I went to the theater. So what does theater mean to you? Simple. Theater, theater to me is the opportunity for people to express themselves through words and actions. And it's a, it's a very collaborative um, 
environment and the texture is just about learning and growing and enjoying human nature on the stage. I don't know yeah. about that either. Okay. We got trumpet? you. What? The trumpet? Do we care about the trumpet? When I was young, I sang in the chorus, played in the band and orchestra, and enjoyed a whole panoply of people and music and sounds and uh, that was very enriching to my life. What do you dream you can do with your power, your, your you know, if you were to look 10 years ahead and you're successful and you're able to do some things that other people can't do, in my life at this stage, I have many dreams. I believe the best is yet to come. I hope to use my experience and my financing to help children in after-school programs in the arts and related fields to be exposed to things they would never see unless they had this opportunity. Give me a bigger vision. <clears throat> the vision... What about the vehicle? Uh, what's what's, your, what's the, the name of the Arts Council, is it called? What's the name? Arts Westchester. Okay. In the future, we hope to be more involved with Arts Westchester as it continues to support over 45 organizations in Westchester and bringing all different forms of artwork to the public. You said the best is yet to come. Okay. So what is the best? When I say yes, the... When, yet to come. when I say the best is yet to come, it means that everybody here tonight and in the future will participate in supporting the arts and expanding its horizons to meet, to meet hundreds of children that they would never have that opportunity if it wasn't for us. Okay. So I tripped over those words, time. yeah. That's good. Okay, so Arts Westchester. No, the best is yet to come. When I say the best is yet to come, yeah. here's what I mean. Okay. When I say the best is yet to come, what I mean is that with our support, all of our support, we will help Arts Westchester continue to support the 45 organizations in Westchester that brings life and spirit and color and theater to all the families and children in this county. I think when, I say the best, when I say the best is yet to come, what I mean is that through Arts Westchester, with all of our support, it will give opportunities to children who would never be exposed to this type of opportunity, and it will change their lives, and so improve the society in which we live. Good. When I say the best is yet to come, I mean that we can all support Arts Westchester and make this of a, a to support Arts Westchester and Start enriching open. the programs Start that open. they implement in tough neighborhoods, in disadvantaged neighborhoods, to help these children become much more than they could without the help. Okay. Okay. Put it over again. Uh, when I say the best is yet to come. When I say the best is yet to come, I mean that I and we can support Arts Westchester so they can bring to impoverished communities, to poor children, the opportunity to dream, to build their lives, to build their disciplines, so that they can enter society at a much higher level and become contributors. Okay. Could you do it and keep it simple? Okay. About changing lives. Okay. Um, when I say the best is yet to come, I mean that Arts Westchester can become our vehicle for changing people's lives, especially those that don't have the wherewithal to do it themselves.